One of my favorite foods from South Philly is a turkey and cheese hoagie. So I know you guys think, okay, this is just a regular sandwich. It is not a regular sandwich. No. And I take a lot of pride in this sandwich. My bestie right here, Joseph, he loves my hoagies as well. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So you ready? Yeah, I'm so ready. We are in LA. They don't really have a lot of Italian bread out here. The East Coast, there's, you can get Italian bread everywhere. If you can't find Italian bread, just get French bread. Basically, if you get the French bread, don't try to come back and be like, hey, this didn't taste right. You know, <laughs> she, she told you Italian <laughs> bread. That was Amber Rose's new YouTube series where she invites people to see the real her, the real her love cooking and eating. And she's ready for the rest of the year, 2024, 2020 more. What do you want more of? I want to work more. Yeah. Um, what work do you want to do more of? Because I know you have the series. Mm -hmm. um, I know you did have OnlyFans. I don't know if you still do. Oh, no, that's just during the pandemic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You know, people are dying around me. I'm like, I need to make this money real quick. <laughs> so no. you're done with OnlyFans? So, yeah. Okay, so yeah. I just had a baby and the pandemic hit right. maybe like three months later. Yeah. But I, I wasn't doing... I was just doing I'll cute. never know because I, I won't sign on pictures. and it's done. That's it. That's but it. you were on, so, so when you say work, what is the work right now that you so, want to do? So I do have some cool things coming yeah. up and I can't really say... Cameron, but okay, you're um, gonna get kicked out of the chair. I know, I know. <laughs> I would tell you, but uh, yeah, but I, it's in the works. It, it's in the works. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, l I do want to talk about the slut walk because that was sure. something that I covered even as a journalist because it was such a powerful movement. Because, um, you know, we keep showing the picture of you. You showed up at an award show with a jumpsuit with all of the angry words that people had said to you. Yeah. Um, and worse. Mm -hmm. and you used your power to start the slut walk. Thousands of people followed you and participated mm -hmm. because of what you always talk about. Women do something, we are maligned. Mm -hmm. Men are celebrated. Right. Yeah. That was a powerful move. Was it a mission accomplished? Because I know you've paused it after the pandemic, yeah. obviously. Was it mission accomplished for you? I think so. I mean, I, I started my slut walk before the Me Too movement, before yeah. all these movements started happening. I was at the forefront. Um, and I like that I started the conversation. Mm -hmm. I had over 20,000 people show up every year. Yeah. And um, I got the conversation going, and then the Me Too movement started, and women have more of a voice now than ever. So yeah. I'm, I feel like yeah. I did what I was supposed to do. Yeah. Um, you know what we haven't talked about? The, the hair conversation. Your hair instantly set you apart. The minute you popped up in the paparazzi picture, I think you were in Soho or somewhere I first saw it, the hair set the stage. You've said you'll never go back to the shaved hair. You know, I had that shaved head for 20 years. I'm yeah. tired, I'm bored. Yeah. I'm still a girl. Like for I sure. still, you know, and I felt like I kept it for so long because I'm like, statement? what is Amber Rose without the bald head? Well, what you know? was the statement of the bald head? I think I'm just a rebel in the sense where it's like, oh, you think I'm beautiful? Okay. Mm, you know, yeah. shave my head, so. Is it um, Amber, the professional rebel, saying, I'm not gonna go back to this look? I think right now I made my mind up, but you know, my mind changes. Yeah. You know? But there's no statement, there's no hard statement behind it. No, I think that's why I got the braids, because I'm so used to waking up and my hair's done. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, braids is like equivalent to that. Right. You know, I don't gotta like straighten it and gotcha, do all that gotcha. stuff. So. Um, yeah, so I think that's why I got the braids, kind of like a little easy out. I like that, I like that. <laughs> um, interesting, going back to taking a stand against sexist, sexism and double standards, you have two boys. I do. Um, Sebastian is now 10, I can't believe. I know, Slash is four. Yes. So here we are in this world where you are being very vocal about not just what you hear, what you firsthand experience, how much of how, especially Sebastian, he's 10 and I can tell he's precocious. He's mm -hmm. a smart cookie. Oh yeah. He's a smart cookie. How much of what you've gone through do you share with him? Not much. Not much? No. You shield them from everything? Uh, I wouldn't say I shield them for, from everything, but I let them be kids. Yeah. You know, you, and thank you. He's very intuitive. You know, he'll ask about certain things or, you know, when he gives me a hard time cleaning up or, you know, I'll be like, do you know what I had to go through in Philly? I had to wash my clothes in the tub and hang them up. And, you know, and he's like, okay, mom. But that's as far as it goes. How do you talk to them about 
respecting women, right? Because my mm -hmm. son's still four. He's too young to right. have that. So we're still at the general respect of people part of it, and that's right. a struggle for a four-year-old. <laughs> but now Sebastian is almost in his tweens. And again, what you've gone through gives mm -hmm. you a certain journey, a certain perspective. Yeah. So when he's forming who he is as a young man, mm -hmm. whatever that is, how do you talk to him about? You know, uh, with a mother like me, he just knows. Yeah. Like it was, it's been tidbits throughout his life. You know what I mean? Um, it wasn't like one huge, big conversation. Like this is how you have yeah. to be with women. It, he, it's just, he knows, mom, I would never disrespect, you know, he has a crush now. Did he come to you and say, mom? I he did, he told me that he has a crush and that he thinks about her all day at school. Oh. And, um, that, Did uh, your heart break? You're like, no, my baby. I know. <laughs> I, you know, it's just a new level of motherhood for me yeah. because he's like, can you call her mom and see if we can go to the movies together? Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, they had a date. He wants a date. Yeah. And and you're you, I've seen you're pretty traditional, kind of not strict, but you're a structured mom. Yes. A ten year old going on a date. Mm -hmm. You're there, I'm assuming. Of course. Right yeah. in the back. Yeah. At the movie theater. Yes. And did you say yes, he could go on a date? Of course, yeah. yeah. I said yeah. he can, but I have to be there. I'll sit in the back, you yeah. know. So I, um, I'm trying to visualize Amber Rose hiding behind uh, in the movie theater, <laughs> spying on Sebastian. I'm there. We are back with Amber Rose, and we're resetting 2024, 2020 more. And you are resetting. You are working on a lot of new projects. Um, but this this YouTube show that you're doing with your best friend as well, kind of there, mm -hmm. how will this be the defining reset for you? Um, again, I just think that it's finally just an opportunity for me to just be Amber, mm. you know, to show people that um, I'm very nerdy. I'm very into um, politics. Mm -hmm. I'm into, I mean, you just seen like the cooking shows because it just came out, yeah, but yeah. we're, we're, um, you know, we're moving on and we're doing other things. Uh, moving forward, I also have a podcast where I uh, just interviewed Lucian Greaves, the head of the Satanic Temple, um, and Neil deGrasse Tyson, the astrophysicist. So I, I like to, to talk to controversial people and pick their brains and ask them why do they from, feel yeah. the way they feel, you and know? Why do you, what do you learn from talking to controversial figures? What are you seeking? Well, I know that I'm misunderstood, right? Mm. And so when I see someone like a Lucian Greaves, for an example, I could say, maybe he's misunderstood. Maybe he's not. Don't know. And honestly, talking to him, he's very misunderstood. Mm. I'm one of those people, like, I want everyone to just be happy. Whatever they believe in, I, it doesn't matter to me, right? As long as you're not hurting people. Um, even Neil deGrasse Tyson, he kind of goes against um, religion because he's an astrophysicist, he's a scientist. Yeah. Um, and so I like to have those, you know, conversations and just pick their brains and kind of see just where, where it goes. I had a guest on that is a close friend of yours not long ago, Angela White, AKA Black China. Yes. No, I'm so happy to be 40 China because it's, it's like- It's just sexy, like- I really know who I am now. Yeah. You know? What? But this is the best we've looked, mm -hmm. felt. We already have both our babies. Yep. You know what I mean? Black China sat in that chair that you were in. And She's she, so little. I know, she is so sweet. <laughs> I adore her. And she, we celebrated her uh, year of sobriety and her reset and introducing herself as Angela White. And I know you guys had um, friends sometimes don't see eye to eye, but you're mm -hmm. back close together. And you told uh, an interviewer, I missed her so much. There were nights that I've cried for Black China because she was like a sister to me. We just saw each other in person, and it was like, I have my sister back. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Thank you. Um, that female friendships and female relationships can be so powerful and so resetting. Right. And it's good to see this one. Yeah, it's just great to have her back and sober. I think that's why we had to separate uh, for a while. Yeah. But, you know, all in all, she's doing great. Yeah. And um, I was actually, I was just on the phone with her uh, yesterday. So she's doing good. I, I love just, her. I feel like I, I got her. my sister back. So I'm, happy. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy too. I'm happy too.